Hey everybody, welcome back loves. Yes, we are back. We are back. We are back for part two. I promised you a part two and I told you that God was going to have something amazing to share with you. Uh, before we even dig, you know, kind of get over there into the store or get back into part two of trusting God and only trusting God and 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 really seeing this thing out through Ruth's roots. You know the word I want to say. <laughs> Ruth's perception. Let's use that word. Um, I just want to say thank you to everybody. A sincere thank you. I have been absolutely overwhelmed by all of the love that you all have given to me. Um, sometimes you don't see the thing in you that other people, how do I want to say it? Sometimes other people see things, think people see things in you that you might not necessarily see in yourself. Um, and I know that's probably like, some of you are probably like, but hey, yeah, I hear all of that. But, but some days you don't really see it. And so uh, I am, thank you. I thank God for you all. Um, I'm just excited about what's to come next. Uh, all the great and amazing and awesome things that not only that he's going to do in my life. See, that's the one thing about God and how he is no respecter of person. He's blessing all of us through this thing. I'm like, walk this thing out for us, Lord. Endow us. And so with all of this endowment, this leads me to... Uh, what we're going to talk about or what I'm going to share with you all right now. So, and part two may not be as lengthy as part one. And that's a good thing because I want you to stay tuned. I don't want you to be like, dang, Tay, you took a long time to get to that at any rate. Um, I just want to say, I love you all. Thank you so much. I just, it, it, I, you don't even understand. I don't know if you all really understand what it feels like to know that, um, God will choose you. God will choose you in the midst. God will honor you, um, even when it doesn't look like it. When it doesn't look like it, when it doesn't feel like it, which takes me into Ruth. Ruth didn't know what she was walking into. She didn't even have a clue that, there are the tears, y'all already know. It's already starting. That's just the Holy Spirit. Thank you, God. Ruth didn't even know that Naomi was attached from a family uh, inheritance or from a family strand or bloodline, she was related to Boaz. And so um, there's a backdrop part to this. And when you get a little bit of time, I want you all just go over there and read it and begin to de dig a little bit deeper into the story of Ruth. Um, but like I was saying, God honors us and God gives us things sometimes when we least expect it. Um, God will give us things when we didn't even realize or recognize that those gifts or those things were coming to us. But I will guarantee you this. And this is what I heard about the second chapter or the second part of Ruth's story. God said, Shantae, when you enter into my presence, when you're determined, when you're desperate to be in my presence, just like Ruth was desperate to be in Naomi's presence, and she was also desperate to be in the field with the reapers in Boaz's field. I will honor you with gifts. I could hear Ruth's presence, P-R-E-S-E-N-C-E, -E, presented her with presence, P-R-E-S-E-N-T-S. -E yes, being in the presence of God will honor, God will honor you being in his presence being close to him, making room for him. Well, let me clear that up. God said, I don't want you to make room for me, just like how you would in a closet. And, and let me let me break that down. God said, don't make room for me. Don't find a little space to put me in just so that I can come in for a second. Why don't you create an entire room for me? Don't make just a little space. I, I think about a closet you know how you have a lot of clothes and uh, for the most part, you know, well, let me talk about women. Let me talk about me. I ain't going to talk about y'all. I'm going to talk about me because <laughs> I got a lot of clothes, a lot of clothes, a lot of shoes, a lot of stuff, okay? I have things that I can fit. I have things that I probably need to give away. I have things that um, I wear now. I have seasonal items. Um, I have... Some things that probably don't fit anymore, but I'm just 
hoping that I'm going to get them back, get back into them. All of that to say, if I take some of that out, I create a little bit of space in my closet. I just have a little bit of room, right? And I can put some new stuff in there. God said to me, Shantae, in my presence, I'm going to gift you with presence, but you got to get rid of some stuff. You got to take some stuff out of your life. You got to take some things away. You got to remove some things. And I don't want just, uh, or I don't want <laughs> just a little bit of space in your closet. Can you create a closet or a room for me? Mm. <laughs> I said, my God, so you, 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 you want a prayer closet. He said, yeah, I want a prayer closet in your life. I don't want just a little bit of your life. I don't want just a little bit of room in your heart. I don't want just a little bit of room in your mind. I don't want just a little bit of room in your day. I don't want just a little bit of little bit of room, you know, on Sundays and Wednesdays or Sundays and Tuesdays or Sundays and Thursdays when you feel it's convenient for you to give me just a little bit of your time. I want to be in your presence and I want you in my presence all the time consistently. And I said, my God, God said to me, and he showed me when I went back over to chapter two in Ruth, God showed me how Ruth went into the field, not really acknowledging, you know, she knew she was going to reap. She knew she was going to get some things. She's going to receive some things because she wanted to make sure that she and Naomi could eat. But my, 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 what happened? Literally as Ruth went into that field and began to work. Boaz asked the question. He said, who is she? Because when he came back, <laughs> yeah, because he was in Bethlehem. He said, who, who is the lady over there? Who, who is that right there? And so they told him who she was. He said, well, you know what? I want you all to leave a little bit more for her, you know, and, and protect her and cover her and, and just give her some more stuff. I want you to gift her with some things. Because she was desperate to be in Naomi's presence, like God is saying to us, if only you would come into my presence, Shantae, if only you would get into my face, get all up in my space, I can give you some stuff. I can gift you some things. I'm going to leave a little extra for you. And the other thing that God said to me, and I'm going to share this with you all because I wrote all of this down. Uh, Y'all know I have to put it in my cell phone. <laughs> God says to me, it's a sacrifice to be in my presence. It will demand that you give up some things so that you have room to receive my presence, to receive my gifts that I give to you. He said, I can't endow you with new items as long as you're carrying and holding on to the old items. Don't just make room for me, make a room for me. Designate a place for me to dwell in you. When folks pass by, they should automatically recognize that there is something special about you. Just like Boaz noticed there was something special about Ruth. Then he went on to say, it may not always be something tangible that you will get in the next phase of your journey. It could be a lesson or an experience that will forever change the trajectory of your life. And that's when God said to me, he gave me that example about the closet. He said, you know how you squeeze clothes into a closet full of things that you can't wear anymore? He said, I really, really need for you to get rid of that stuff that's no longer necessary. Mm. So God has a dwelling place, not just a space. And then the Lord began to show me, he said, much like Boaz already knew about Ruth, people will already know about your name. Because you've been in my presence. God said, your reputation will precede your presence. I will make your name great in the earth, but you must make mine even greater. So I said all of that to tell you all that part two to this thing is we got to get in the presence of God. If you are expecting some things from God, if you're seeking some things from God, you want some answers from God, you want your finances to be in alignment, you want your children to be in alignment, you want your family to line up, you want some generational curses to be broken off of your life, you want to begin to declare and decree some things in your life, and you want to see those things happen and manifest in a very natural way. You want to see some things change and shift in your environment. You want to see some people on your job shift. You want to see your job change. You don't even want to be at that job anymore. You want a new job. 
God said, it's in my presence that I will honor you, that I will gift you. G-I-F-T-P-R-E-S-E-N-T-S. God said, I'll give you my presence, but you got to seek me, Shantae. And you got to make room for me. So this weekend, make room for God. Begin to allow him to come into your space. Don't just give him a little bit of, you know, a little room, but begin to think about how much can I give you, God, and how much of my time can I give you? How can I begin to allow you to be in the closet and not just, you know, or be the closet, not just have a little bit of space in my closet, right? And truth be told, some of the things that are in our closets, my God, Jesus, some of the stuff that's in our closets, we need to get rid of anyway. Because it's nothing but old baggage. It's not helping us grow. God says in his word, he cannot put new wine into old wine skins. So you don't want to, you want God to give you the new stuff with new grace, with new mercies. He says they're tender and new every day. So I encourage you all to seek out the presence of God so that you can receive, so that you can fully receive the presence, the P-R-E-S-E-N-T-S, the gifts. Because Boaz, he left a whole lot of stuff for Ruth. Go over there and check it out and see exactly what I'm talking about. I'm telling you all, we're going to slow walk this thing. And I'm telling you that God is no respecter of person. The very things that he's sharing with me, he wants me to share it with you all so that we can walk this thing out together. Yes, together, together, together. So let's pray before uh, we end this second video. I am just, I, I keep using the word excited. I don't know if it's excitement, overwhelmed, if I'm in a, in a, in a, in a uh, euphoric place with God. But I'm so thankful that he chose a time as this to share his word with us and to reveal his truths to us, to reveal his word to us so that we can begin to do this stuff on a daily basis. Some of you probably are saying, Tay, how can I find the practical what does it look like to even be in the presence of God? How do I create that closet for God? I will tell you this. Inbox me. Direct message me. And we will walk this thing out together. Yes, we will. And if I have to do a bigger video, I guess, if it's a lot of y'all that want to know, hey, I'm with you. So let's pray before we leave. Um, I, <laughs> God, I thank you. Holy Spirit, I thank you right now. Father, I thank you for the ears that are listening. I thank you for their hearts, oh God. I thank you for letting them, uh, allowing them to come back and to tune in, Lord God. I thank you right now, Lord God, for the transitions in their life. I thank you, Lord God, right now for you are going to open up a place in their hearts, Lord God, in their homes, Lord God, on their jobs, Lord God, in their cars, Lord God, in their families, Lord God, in their relationships, Lord God, where your presence will be so obvious, oh God, even in their reputation, Lord God, before they even get to the next place in their destination, the next place in their journey, Lord God, you are already going to let the people know that they are on their way, that they are coming because they're going to prepare so that they can gift them with the things that they've been looking for. Father, I thank you right now and I plead the blood of Jesus over every heart, over every mind, over every person, Lord God, under the sound of my voice, I plead the blood of Jesus over them. And I decree and I declare, Lord God, that it is so that they now understand, Lord God, and will begin to live and seek and ask you for the presence of God so that they can receive every single gift that you have for them. In the name of Jesus, we pray. Amen. I thank you all for listening. I love you, love you, love you. <laughs> I love y'all so much. And have a wonderful, wonderful weekend and be blessed. Part three, I'm telling you, it's going to be something dynamic. Good night.